What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Lovrich from Pixel Feet here and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Facebook's own tool called Audience Insights so you can dig deep into their data and get the results that you're looking for for your campaigns and ad sets by creating the perfect customer avatar. But before we do that you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and let's go. And with the magic of editing just like that we're inside my Audience Insights and one of my accounts here. So Audience Insights, Audience Insights is what the tool that we use, marketers use, uh, anybody who's advertising on Facebook should be using. And this is how you find those hardcore people that follow an interest. I, I see the mistake all the time when people are starting to advertise, advertise with Facebook is that they go and create a campaign and an ad set and they just go in there and start creating, you know, guessing interest. You know, this is why 90% of the people out there are not successful with Facebook ads. You really have to do the research on your audience and you really have to build a customer avatar of what they like and what they're into. Okay. So this is going to be your audience insights. And to get there, you click, uh, when you see the menu, you click here and you're going to go to all tools and you're going to go to audience insights. And as you can see here, we have uh, location, age and gender, interest, connections. If they're connected to a page, videos, because they're pushing video, you can go under advanced. And then you have language, relationship, status, education, work, market segment. I mean, you can really get very granular with this stuff. Uh, a, a quick walkthrough, if you can see here, you're going to see demographics, page likes. You know what pages they like, where they are located, their activity on Facebook, um, and um, their job titles, relationship, status, education level. Okay, so example that I'm going to use for this video is let's say I have a boxing store or blog or something related to boxing product okay the idea when you're creating a campaign on facebook once again you want to go after the people who are super passionate about the niche so think about it this way everyone if you mention the word boxing or you bring boxing up anyone in the world is going to know who mike tyson is or muhammad ali those are just names that are synonymous with boxing in itself, okay? So you can put an ad out there and it might be okay because like it's going gonna, it's gonna to do okay. It's not going to do that well because everybody knows who those people are. So if you go under your targeting and you put Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali, then it's going to show to a bunch of random people that don't really care about boxing, but they just know who they are. We want to find the people who are super hardcore passionate about boxing. We want to find the people who study, who study boxing, who watch every boxing fight, who know who that amateur that's coming up in the ranks is by name, when their fights are. Those are the people who are going to see your ad, click on it, and buy from you or take action on that ad. So it's very important that we find those people. I'm going to show you of the process that I go through to find these people. And I'm going to break down how all this works. So you ready? All right. So let's say our interest is boxing. So we start with the most basic guess that we can do. And you should be Googling this type of stuff, right? That's another thing I do. So I can go in here. Uh, let's go boxing. Let's see what we get. Right? So we got boxing, kickboxing, beatboxing. No, we want boxing. But then there's amateur boxing. So right now, I'm getting this interest right here that's more hardcore than regular boxing. So we can check out both, right? And usually the way I do this, I have a spreadsheet open where I, I can copy all this interest down and put them to the side so I don't forget them, okay? So let's go into boxing. So now see how everything changed as soon as I added boxing here? So here we're looking at people who are interested in boxing or 18 and up, both men and women, and these are the people in the United States that are active on a monthly basis on Facebook that are into boxing here. And as you can see, the number is 20 million to 25 million people. Now, our demographics have changed. So these are the demographics that are into, once again, boxing right here. Their relationship status, their education level, their jobs. Okay, so this is gold. When you're creating your ads and when you're, when, you're going, when you're writing your copy or crafting that ad uh, video or picture, 
you know, these are the angles that you can use for your ad. So instead of just, hey, buy my boxing product, you can do something. It's like, look how many people are married, 46%. You can go, hey, I have this boxing product. Why don't you buy it for your husband that's coming up in Christmas or his birthday or, you know, whatever, because you can target by that. So now you have a different angle for your marketing. Instead of just buy my boxing product, you can go with something like buy a special boxing gift for your husband or for your wife, no matter, right? Uh, so that's a little idea right there. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to page likes right here, and we're gonna see the page likes that they're into. So here, you can do see all, so you can see everything, but I like to keep it to, to the first 10, because then it gets too broad. Okay, so what I do is I look at what comes up. So UFC, UFC can be related to boxing because it's a type of contact sport. So I can see that, but I'm not looking for UFC people. I want people who are into boxing. All right. So these are the retail stores that sell boxing products. Champ Sports Academy, Outdoor Sticks, Wafer, whatever. NFL memes, all this stuff. But you see how, how everything still pretty water down here. So I'm going to look here and into other page likes. And when you look in here, these are other targeting options. And the higher this affinity number, the better. And if you, if you really hone in down on these interests, you can go to like 1,000, 3,000, 4,000. And basically, is, this is the, anybody who likes this interest, this interest is this number times most likely to be interested in this boxing product or whatever. So now we got HBO boxing, right? So now we're getting somewhere because people who know HBO boxing, they're hardcore into boxing. So what I do is I right click, open link in new tab, right? And I wanna check it out what we got here. So HBO boxing. So is this a, the first thing that I look is, is this a boxing related page, right? Or whether, whatever your niche is. So I go down here and make sure that is a, uh, you know, related to the niche. So it's a boxing related page. The second thing that I look at is the engagement, you know, 68 comments, 431 comments. So that means people are passionate about this page. They like their boxing, right? Uh, it tells you how many people like this. So over 2 million, anything under 20,000, don't even bother. 20,000 and up only. That's the interest that I like to use. So right here, we have 2 million, 909 and 227 people. So I would use this as an interest, okay? I will add this to my spreadsheet, okay? So, you know, actually, let me, let me open a spreadsheet here and show you how to do it. I didn't, I'm just doing fly Excel. Yeah, so let's open Excel. All right, there it is. So basically what I do is, whoa, this is too big. Is I grab my, my sheet right here, right? And I create five different columns. This column's gonna be entertainment sites, whether it's a, a YouTube channel, blog, magazine, whatever. Here I will do stores. Here I will do celebrities. And just to keep track of them, all right? So here I'm gonna do HBO Boxing, right? So I'm gonna grab HBO Boxing and I'm gonna add it to my entertainment site, okay? No, it's not letting me copy it, of course it's not. So I'll just write it down. All right. So I have HBO boxing on my sheet. Now we're gonna start finding the hardcore people. So I remove regular boxing and I add HBO, HBO boxing. See, it comes up. And sometimes not all of them are going to come up. So get ready for that. So now notice how my affinity just jumped up to 845 and how everything just changed here. So now we got the good boxing stuff, right? 
Mayweather promotions, Golden Box Boxing, uh, Golden Boy bo Boxing, you know, sports from your, I mean, this is the goal that you're looking for, right? The guy who's just like, knows who Mike Tyson is, is not going to know about boxing, at, you know, boxing news or, you know, uh, top rank boxing. Well, everybody knows who Mayweather is. So it's like, but Golden Boy Boxing, who knows that? I don't know who that is but I'm not that hardcore into boxing. So let's go look at it. 1,186,000 people like this, okay? So this is obviously a information site. So I will add it to my list. Oops. All right, so we got that. Close that. Um, athlete, Miguel Cotto. I don't know who that is. Canelo Alvarez. I think that's a boxer. I've seen that name somewhere. Is this guy UFC or is this guy boxing? He looks like a boxer, right? Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, he's a boxer. So... 3,142,000. So yeah, we want to use this. This is an interest. This is a celebrity, right? So we go through his page. This is a real page. There's comments. So this is a good interest. So I will add him to my celebrities. Okay. So there you go. So now we're finding more of these hardcore um, fans right so premier boxing champions athlete magazine community uh let's see company we did that okay so let's put we have canelo alvarez so let's put canelo alvarez and let's go even deeper oh so he's not he's not big enough to be an interest so we get out of there okay so that's not going to work. So what about Boxing Insider? Let's check that out. Six hundred thousand. So that's still good. That could be an interest. So let's check it out. BoxingInsider.com. There you go. So BoxingInsider.com. Let's get rid of HBO. Let's see what we get. So now we have new interest. BoxingInsider.com right more athletes right retail company food action champ sports so these are companies that sell uh boxing products you know well they sell more than that but the retail so you want to see what they're doing you know so this is how i go through audience insight and fi find all those high level related interests right and every time you plug this in, so let's say I want to see all of them together and see what my demo is. So HBO Boxing. I'll add that back up. And then Golden Boy Boxing. Now we're down to 1 to 1.5 million people. But this gives me the demographics of where I want to go after. So I wouldn't go under 10%, right? And this is pushing it right here. So depending on your budget and you don't want to open it up to everybody and try to save some money, I will start the ads right from 25 to 44, both only men. I wouldn't even bother with women because the, it's such a small demographic. So I will go, my first campaign with these interests, right? Will be targeted to men only, 25 to 44 right and let's see their location where they're located so let's say you don't want to open it nationwide you want to like bring it down to like states well guess what depending on but let's start with texas and california right so you could start with texas and california here or if you're going nationwide you can go by countries and obviously the u.s is going to be the biggest one right Activity, you can see the activity in the last 30 days. Look, 
They love to click on ads. Whoever's in this interest, that pool of people that's, that are in this interest, love to click on ads. So guess what? So I'm going to definitely, this is confirming that I'm going to use those interests for my ad. And then I'm going to go in here and look at my demo. Mobile and desktop, iPhone, iPod, Android. Well, guess what? I wouldn't even bother with desktop. When I create that campaign, it's going to be mobile only, right? And iPhone and Android are pretty close together, so I would use both. But let's say for some crazy reason you see that iPhone or Android is way more than the other, you can just target one by itself. So you can just target mobile only, iPhones only. And you can get as granular as going by the operating system on that phone. Okay? So this is what you do. This is how you dig for those interests that people don't know about. Right. So we go back in here. What are we seeing here? You know, um, you know, I'm, and you're like, probably you're thinking, but Mayweather, well, Mayweather, everybody knows who Mayweather is. We're, we're trying to find those obscure, hardcore interests that not many people know about. OK, so this is how you dig. You look for those high, high affinity um, interests and you just keep digging. You just keep opening, checking out that that's a beer. So that's not going to be it. And, you know open those links and new tabs and you look at them and you see the engagement what is this this is champs this is just a store okay but i'm sure there's boxing stores and then if you don't know where to start with boxing stores you can just go to google and do be like boxing product stores and you go in here top titleboxing.com okay so that's you know Top, or you can do top 10 boxing stores and type today, right? Ringside.com. So let's see if that's an interest somewhere in here. Yeah, there you go. Ringside boxing. So now we're getting more results. Look at that. So this is how you do it. This is how you build your audiences. This is how you build your customer avatar. So what is my customer avatar? My customer avatar is males who are married between the ages of 25 to 44 who have a college education, right? That means they might have more money to spend, right? Who are mobile users, right? And that's who I'm going to create my ad and my campaign after. So when I craft my ad, I talk to that demographic, right? So I hope this helps. This is how I break down my audiences. This is how I do my audience research. And this can take hours. You can spend hours doing this. But this is how you really, really find out what those audiences are. Okay? Any questions, let me know in the comments. And back to the studio. Thanks for watching and as always, let me know in the comments what you think about the video. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And before you go, make sure you check out one of the other videos right here in the boxes above me and I'll see you next time.